ranking every college football bowl game from worst to best. Welcome to bowl season. It's the most glorious time of the year. And from the Myrtle Beach Bowl on December 16th to the college football playoff national championship on January 8th, there will be 42 FBS postseason games played. Not including the national title game, we have ranked all 41 bowl games from worst to best. Beyond the CFP bowls, there are many intriguing matchups to look forward to in the coming weeks. Full 2023 bowl game schedule with dates, times and TV channels. 41 Quick Lane Bowl, December 26, 2 p.m., ESPN. Minnesota, 5 to 7, vs. Bowling Green, 7 to 5. Minnesota is the only sub-500 team in a bowl game thanks to its academic progress rate. The Gophers will play without QB Ethan Kaliokmanis after he entered the transfer portal and defensive coordinator Joe Rossi is off to Michigan State. Minnesota averages just 303 yards a game and gives up 6 yards a play. Bowling Green won 5 of its last 6 to get bowl eligible and its only loss in that span came to Toledo as the Rockets got a 59-yard TD to go ahead with 1.45 to go. 40 Boca Raton Bowl, December 21, 8 p.m., ESPN. South Florida, 6-6, vs. Syracuse, 6-6. The Bulls are bowling for the first time since 2018 under first-year coach Alex Golsch after winning just eight games over the last four seasons. One of USF's six losses this season came by a score of 17-3 to Alabama in a game that was the catalyst for QB Jalen Milrow's emergence after he didn't play at all against the Bulls. Syracuse fired coach Dino Babers before the final week of the season and interim coach Nunzio Campanile got a 35-31 win over Wake Forest to get the Orange into a bowl game. 39-68 Ventures Bowl, December 23, 7 p.m., ESPN. South Alabama, 6-6, vs. Eastern Michigan, 6-6. South Alabama also gets to host a bowl game this season. The Jaguars had a 26-point win at Oklahoma State in Week 3 before losing to Central Michigan the following week. South Alabama has outscored its opponents by a combined 108 points thanks to mid-season blowout wins over Louisiana Monroe and Southern Miss. Eastern Michigan also lost to CMU and won its final two games of the season to qualify for the postseason. QB Levi Williams' powerful run in overtime got the Aggies a win over New Mexico in Week 13 to get to a bowl game. This will be Williams' last game before he begins training to become a Navy SEAL. Georgia State lost its final five games and was outscored by at least three possessions in four of them before that dramatic defeat to Old Dominion. 37 Camellia Bowl, December 23, noon, ESPN. Arkansas State, 6-6, vs. Northern Illinois, 6-6. Butch Jones is back in a bowl game. The former Cincinnati and Tennessee coach has Arkansas State in the postseason for the first time since 2019. The Red Wolves won more games in 2023 than they had in Jones' first two seasons with the program combined, 5. New opened the season with a win at Boston College before losing four straight including a game to Southern Illinois in Week 2. Huskies RB Ontario Brown has rushed for 1,164 yards and 10 TDS on just 187 carries. 36 Famous Toastery Bowl, December 18, 2.30 p.m., ESPN. Western Kentucky, 7-5, vs. Old Dominion. 6 to 6. The Monarchs got bowl eligible in the final week of the season in dramatic fashion. ODU scored 11 points in the final 2 minutes to turn a 24 to 14 deficit into a 25 to 24 win over Georgia State. Western Kentucky's offense took a step back in 2023 despite the return of QB Austin Reed. He's thrown for fewer yards and TDS per game this season. 35 Gasparilla Bowl. December 22, 6.30 p.m., ESPN. UCF, 6-6, vs. Georgia Tech, 
6-6. UCF played in four games that were decided by one or two points the season and went 2-2 in them. This could be a close one. Georgia Tech is powered by the rushing duo of Haynes and Haynes. Both RB Jamal Haynes and QB Haynes King average 6 yards a carry. This game was originally reported to be a military bowl rematch of a year ago between UCF and Duke before an apparent